for uh, in order to create an infoset query we should have i mean we have to go to the transaction code sq02 so here mainly we, for the infoset queries we will use three transaction codes sq03 sq02 and sq01 here sq03 is used to create a user group which uh, for example the infoset query uh, is kept in like you know you have to first create the user group and uh, you have to assign that to the infoset uh, for the infoset and then you can uh, display the infoset data you can create a query in ecc system itself with the help of sq01 with the help of the transaction sq01 you can create a report in ecc system so for that purpose uh, there are three uh, transactions related to infoset queries there is sq03 02 and 01 so these are going to give us the relational join for the outer join so we are going to see that on um, i mean uh, in this example i have given uh, marty and mardi so these are the material uh, tables so uh, i mean uh, this is okay but uh, i want to uh, show another one use the another two tables bsis csas these two tables which are finance tables so let's first check these tables what are these tables etc in the abap dictionary so in the abap dictionary at the level you have to give the here you will see the bsis which is the accounting secondary index it is a general ledger table general ledger accounts table in general ledger you will have all the i mean uh, all the information of uh, both uh, accounts payables and accounts receivables it is the uh, main in uh, uh, fi for the general ledger you will have a line item details in the ledger so we, we generally have a booker and hedge uh, count it is a it is a general ledger account and uh, other field so for this i mean for uh, secondary index we are going to create so another table is accounting secondary index for clear uh, items so in this one also we have bookers and hedge fund and other fields so uh, today we are going to see how to create uh, the info set query with the help of this table If I type to go to SQ03, here you will see you have to create a user group.
So ZISUG InfoSet User Group, we have given the name and now we have to create. What is the purpose of the user group? We have to assign this user group to the InfoSet. The main uh, transaction to create InfoSet query is uh, SQ02. It can differ in system to system. It can be ESQ or RSQ. So SQ02 is the main transaction to create InfoSet query. And uh, SQ03 is the transaction to create, uh, just like we create, uh, I mean, uh, any uh, info object catalogs and uh, create function groups for the function modules. Just then we create a transport package to give the transport request. Just like that, we have to create a user group for the InfoSet query. Okay, thank you. Hello, here we have uh, created the user group and then you go back and you go to 03, 02. This is the transaction to create the InfoSet query. Here you have to give the name for the InfoSet query. Create it. And you have to give this user group here, user group name here, which is that uh, I guess you. And you have to give the table for the basis, basis table name. So in BSIS and BSIS, we will give BSIS as the base table. And that is all for the mandatory ones and you have, you can further go continue with this. And here you will give the, I mean, you will see the graphical representation. You have a table here, which is base table, BSIS. And now you have to add the uh, another table, which you can do that from uh, edit insert table, or you can do that from here. Here, these many connections are there, relations are there between these two tables. So once you do this, you have to go back. This is this is the odd part of it. Like you know, once you do this, you don't save it. You just go back. When you go back, this screen appears uh, here. You will have uh, the field group defaults, and you have three options. Either you include all table fields, or you include key fields, or you create empty field groups. So we are by default we are creating empty field groups where we will add the info object that we need for the in order to create a info set query. Here on the left hand pane we have all the two tables and all the uh, info objects related to these two tables. And here on the right hand side, we have two default, uh, uh, I mean, uh, field groups. So you can create field group if you want additional field groups. 
to sort uh, more I mean uh, info objects in different ways or you can uh, drag and drop in these two default field groups and uh, you can create an info set. So first of all let uh, you have to click on the info object which you want and drag it and drag it to the field group you want. Here you can see the info object is here. Just like that you click on another info object Hold it and drag it. Clearing date. This could be it. So here from the table one we have dragged few info objects and from the table two we will drag it to the field group two. So in the table one we have uh, got uh, some uh, fields and from the table two we will get some more fields and item text. So we have got some fields from table 1 and we have got some fields from table 2. So uh, for example, in, the, in our requirement we, we need only these fields. Then next after selecting your required field, what you have to do is to create on this to generate a info set query. 